Here's number 83 on 6.3. The cranes shown in the figure are lifting an object that weighs 20,240 pounds. Find the tension in pounds in the cable of each crane. And so we are going to write a system of equations, uh, rounding to do decimal places to help us solve this. So what we're trying to find is the tension. So we're trying to find here, this and this here. And so we're given these two angles, and notice here there is a horizontal, and so it kind of helps us out with looking at those angles. So let's start first with the left crane. And so what we need to know is the theta. Remember, this is the directional angle. So this is going to be here. So it's not 24.3 degrees. It's actually going to be 180 degrees minus 24.3 degrees. And therefore, theta is going to be 155.7 degrees for this left crane. And so we can write our first equation so u so we'll call this u and we'll call this v so u is the magnitude of u times cosine of 155.7 degrees i plus the magnitude of u times sine of 155.7 degrees j now let's look at the right crane now. So let's look at V. So the right crane is going to be V. And theta is the same. So it's going to be 44.5 degrees. So we're going to call that V. And so this is going to be the magnitude of V times cosine of 44.5 degrees plus the magnitude of V times sine of 44.5 degrees j. Now looking at what we have, the forces that we have, we know that x equals 0, right? They're pulling exactly in these opposite directions here. We also know that this is a weight here. It's pulling down, and that is 20,240 pounds. So we can say that that's our y value. y equals 20,240 pounds because that's what's happening. So the tension here, it's pulling up. They're both pulling at the same. Um, and, you know, they're pulling at these angles and they're lifting this uh, object that is 20,240 pounds. Remember, the x is going to be our horizontal components, our horizontal values, and the y is our vertical values, our vertical components. So what we're going to do is we need to write a system of equations. And so let's think about first putting together our horizontals all in one equation. So the horizontals rep are going to be the ones with the i, right? Oh, and I forgot the i here. That should be an i. So we'll put those together. And the horizontal is really our x values, right? So our x, that's going to be set equal to 0. So the first equation is the magnitude of u times cosine of 155.7 degrees plus the magnitude of v cosine of 44.5 degrees and that equals zero okay so that's a horizontal now we need to write our vertical in one line and that's going to be here and here and our vertical equals 20,240 so we're going to write the magnitude of u sine of 155.7 degrees plus the magnitude of V sine of 44.5 degrees equals zero. And we don't need to write the I's and J's, right? The I's just tell us that it's the horizontal. The J's means it's our vertical. And I apologize, it doesn't equal zero. What does our vertical equal? Our vertical, like I said earlier, is 20,240. So we need to solve this system. And one way to kind of simplify this for ourselves is, like I mentioned earlier, is write the system and round to do decimal places and solve. So you can pause the video, see if you can figure out from this point. I think always the hardest part is being able to set up this, these equations to solve it. All right. So if I simplify, 
let's see, the magnitude of u, and I am going to round it to, so it's negative 0 0.91. And then this is plus the magnitude of v, and that is 0 0.71, and that equals 0. Then for the vertical, that is going to be the magnitude of u times 0 0.41 plus the magnitude of v times 0 0.7, and that equals 20,240. Okay, so that simplifies a little bit, just plugging in the numbers. And then we need to solve the system. So one way to do that is let's uh, solve for the magnitude of u, and because it's already positive and negative, that may be the nicer one to solve for. So I'm going to multiply the top by 0.41, multiply the bottom by 0.91, and then this is going to be a negative magnitude of u of 0 0.3731 plus the magnitude of v times 0 0.2911 equals 0. Then the bottom will become the magnitude of u times 0 0.3731 plus the magnitude of v, and that would be 0 0.637, and that equals 18,418.4. Then the u's cancel out, and so we have the magnitude of v, and when you add that together, that's 0 0.9281 equals 18,418.4. Then to solve for the magnitude of v, you divide. So therefore, the magnitude of v is going to be approximately 19,845. Then we need to solve for, so that's the tension of V here. Okay, so that's the tension for the first crane, and then, or the right crane. Now to solve for U, you just plug in the V, and so I plugged it in to the bottom, and so the magnitude, so I plugged it into here, in the original magnitude of u of 0 0.3731 plus 1,9845, and I actually had 0.3, so I'll put that there, uh, times 0 0.637 equals 18,418.4. Then you solve for all of that, and so the magnitude of u, if I did all my calculations correctly on my calculator, it's approximately 15,483.6. Okay, so that is the tension of the crane on the left.